now famous story of the American-built tanker Ohio struggling on with her precious cargo of oil from Malta, surviving bombs, torpedoes and fire is undoubtedly one of the classics of this war and it was a privilege to meet her skipper. Captain Mason, one usually thinks of the Mediterranean as a spot to go to for a pleasure cruise, but I imagine you have rather different ideas on the subject. Yes, I think I have now. I'd always looked on the Mediterranean as a very peaceful and quiet <laughs> spot where you went for nice holidays and, well, I'm afraid I've altered my opinion now. I'm quite certain you have. You were torpedoed, of course. What, what does it feel like to be torpedoed? Well, actually, when it happened, I was on the bridge, very near the port side. The ship happened to be torpedoed that side. There was an enormous sheet of flames and deluge of water reached the masthead height, I suppose. Then, seems to be practically two seconds of absolute quiet and still. Well, at any rate, you and the people of Malta have one thing in common for the rest of your lives, and that is the well-deserved award of the George Cross. Yes, I accept that. It was a wonderful tribute to the whole crew. I like to look at it in that light. The marvelous way they acted, carried out my orders with no hesitation whatever, and the courageous way they carried the whole operation to a conclusion. <laughs>